He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. Mm -mm, it's Gary, baby. All right, four minutes after the hour, Gary has the T and the color of the day. Gary. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. Ricky, a lot of people are angry with Stephen A. Smith. People, some people are saying he needs to shut up. But it's being reported, y'all, that Mr. Smith, he's blasting y'all, Miss Mariah Mills, honey, for Zion Williamson's tweet amid, you know, those adult star um, posting positive pregnancy tests. He said, Stephen is talking about saying this woman is starving for attention. Now, they're saying Mr. Smith is weighing on Zion Williamson's alleged fling with Mariah and alleging that the adult film actress is seeking a spotlight. Now, they said if you're worried about the NBA, honey, offseason being bored, they say it's been far from it. So from insane trades to massive suspensions, the screenwriters are working overtime, and the main topic of discussion right now has been, y'all, Zion Williamson's off-the-court drama. Now, uh, people saying previously reported, y'all, Mr. Williamson revealed, y'all, that he's expecting his first child and a short time later, adult film star Miss Mariah Mills began ranting and exposing all their alleged, um, you know, business to Twitter and what have you. Now, Mariah's meltdown included, y'all, threats of leaking that sex tape that we talked about, exposing Williamson's alleged fetishes and y'all seemingly getting a face to tattoo before recently claiming y'all that she was definitely pregnant for this man. So Stephen Smith, honey, he weighed in, honey, talking about he's fed up with this ridiculousness, honey. He said this, so I'm not going to talk about this anymore other than to say this one last thing. One of two things is going on here. He said either she is starving for attention and willing to do whatever she can to get it, even if it's at his expense, or she had a pretty damn good time with him and can't get over it, honey. So people are talking about it saying, why was Steven just, I mean, he should just let it go because this football player or whatever he is, he is evidently just kind of dumb. He's a basketball player. Well, basketball, basketball player, well, he, he, he's, he's not really that smart. I mean, you know, if he was with this woman and, you know, he, he talked about his other baby mama and if she said um, that she's pregnant and we've talk, been talking about it for a while now, he should just go ahead on and pay his child support if he's not going to be with her and move on. So why does Stephen A. Smith, you know, have something to say about this rock tea? Don't you think, like, her antics are showing that she's starving for attention? Mm -hmm. I mean, the tattoo on the face. No, and the... no, she's hurt. Oh, okay. I think she's hurt because, honey, she really thought that she was the main woman. And then when it came out when he was with this other woman and the other woman revealed that she was pregnant, that hurt her. I can see that. I don't have a problem with what Stephen A. said, man. Just keep keep your business. Why, why not just contact him outside the media? And like, listen, man, we got we got, we got got some stuff to talk about. We ain't got to. I mean, I don't know. I think well, she, well, why he didn't contact her privately and tell her that she was the only woman and it wound up being somebody else? I think they did contact each other. They were trying to, it, it just came out. She just, she started running her mouth. Well, she was hurt, honey. And he, and he, he was trying to, li listen, he was trying to keep it under, under wrap. Of course, he was trying to keep quiet about it. Whatever he did, that's his business. But y'all, they should handle it like adults, man. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. Man. No, they, 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 he didn't handle it like an adult because he had more than one woman at a different time. So had he just been with one woman that was faithful to that one woman, he would not have to have this other woman. That's why he was always up. injured doing all them damn positions with them strippers. Exactly. Like, hey, exactly. No damn good on the basketball court. Exactly. So, you know, so honey, so that's why she, honey, she's talking and Steven Smith needs to hush, honey, because I'm sure they're going to say something about him soon. But anyway, we're going to keep our parties lifted in prayer, honey. Hopefully, you know, she gets what she deserves. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news, y'all. TMZ is reporting y'all that Travis Scott will not be charged criminally, y'all, for that deadly Astroworld Festival. Now, Rev is oh, saying, wow. y'all, that he won't be charged. Honey. They say today's decision by the Harris County District Attorney confirms, honey, what we have known all along that Travis Scott is not responsible for the Astrodome tragedy. They're saying this is a consistent with investigative reporting by numerous media outlets and federal and state government reports, y'all, that they have um, squarely placed the onus for event safety crisis on organizers, operators, and contractors, not performers. But the other day, we kind of know that because he was only the performer. I mean, he didn't tell the people to, you know, start jumping on one another or, or doing whatever they were doing and stuff like that. He was just there to perform. So, you know, some people knew that, you know, he definitely wasn't going to be charged. And I'm sure, you know, Kylie Jenner, his um, baby's mom, I'm sure, you know, um, if he needed some type of financial support, she was definitely there to help him or whatever. So now he gets to go on, honey, and do all the stuff that he was doing before that and live a private life, I guess. So, 
It's very I do agree that it's on the event organize, uh, organizers. You got to make sure that the venue is safe, that it's properly staffed, and, and all of those other things. That's that's something beyond his control. Yeah. So. Yeah, so so right now, so he's a free man, y'all. And in my quick for free story, y'all, Anthony Mackie, y'all, they're saying he is the first Marvel star, y'all, to comment, y'all, on Jonathan Major's abuse allegations, y'all. So it's obvious, honey, that he is definitely sticking up, honey, for Mr. Um, Majors and stuff, honey, and whatever. And, you know, like I reported earlier that um, Jonathan... Um, they're gonna. They probably charged the woman, honey, for abuse because they said Johnson really didn't do some of the things that she said he did. And you know, with her being of European descent and him African American, you know, it took some, taking a while. But he may be free, and then he may be with um um what's the name he was with now? Megan Good. Uh, Megan Good might dump her because he'll be free. Because you know, when you get free, all things change. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. But congratulations, <laughs> you know. To, if um, it's neither ah. here nor there, then where is it? <laughs> neither here nor there. <laughs> All right, the color of the day, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color of the day, y'all, is dolomite. On the high end, you say dolomite, and on the low end, you say beautiful silver. That's your color for today. All right, y'all, give it up for Gary with the tea. Yeah, right. <laughs>